be our arm bar. Arm bar. We'll do that first. Um, this works really well either in a self-defense situation or with like brand new white belts. Basically, people that haven't been mounted that often will do the same thing every time because we all hate being mounted. It's terrible. Some person's on you, smothering the life out of you. And what's the first thing they do is they push up. Okay, so never do this. All right, and we're about to find out why. So he's pushing up. He's giving me his arms. Okay. So if you've ever had a CPR class, right? They teach you to do chest compressions. Right? That's why this is called the CPR armbar. Because you're going to take your hands, you're going to pick a side, either side, doesn't really matter. You're going to go one over and one under, OK? One and both hands over his heart, or her heart, rather, either way. And I'm going to use that to carry my weight, OK? So you need both arms. You need to kind of float over the guy. You need to float over the guy to be able to do the um, footwork here. So we're going to do it in two steps to start. And then once you get good at it, you can just kind of throw the move um, on the person all in basically one step. So we're going to go here, and we're going to float over him and butterfly this leg and bring this knee up. So I'm coming to here, OK? Once we get to here, I'm putting this foot towards his head, and I'm resting my weight across this thigh here, OK? So I'm here, right? Now I'm going to swing this leg out and around, not just stepping over his head. It's going out and around in like a, a, a rainbow motion. Boom. To the arm bar. And then the mechanics are all the same, right? Pinching the knees, feet to the mat, curling his, his uh, head to our butt, so curling this hamstring back, controlling the wrist, make sure the thumb is up, and then I'm bringing the arm back with me until we tap, yeah? So you can go either way with this one, all right? The mechanics are the same every time. So he pushes up, I go one over, one under. The one that's going over, that's the direction I'm going. That's the arm I'm attacking, and I'm, in, I'm encircling that arm with my things here. Switching. Kicking the leg out and around, boom, to there, OK? <clears throat> Once you get those two steps down, you can start doing it a little quicker. He pushes me up, yeah? And then it just becomes, hopefully, a smooth, flowy motion, yeah? So your guy on bottom, person having the move done, push up on him, give him a good look, over, under, boom, boom, OK? Curling the head, making the arm bar, OK? Other side, I'll show. So he pushes up, boom, over, under again. Switching to the S-mount. This is called the S-mount, yeah? Kicking this leg out and around. Pinching the knees, staying close, OK? Don't make the mistake of kicking the leg out and around and ending up back here. I have no arm bar there, right? You've got to keep your groin right up under their shoulder for the arm bar to work. One more time. He pushes up. So the two steps you guys are going to be doing when you first start, pushing up and floating, switching to S-mount. When I lean to throw this leg over, I'm leaning this way, OK? That's going to lighten this leg and put all my weight across his rib cage to keep him pinned down. And it keeps me close to his arm, OK? One more time, quick. If you've already done this a bunch of times and you just want to do it quick and flowy, he pushes up. OK? All right, partner up. Let's run it. Do it on each side and let your partner go. One, two, three. You don't need to see this, right? 